hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl dash what's good so you know i've been ghosts but you know i haven't actually been ghosts at all um i've been on tiktok okay you know bringing more people over to join our family duh so um just was really getting to know the app y'all we hit 60,000 over 60,000 followers in less than two weeks that is freaking crazy okay so i'm just i'm just so ecstatic about it um welcome to the family if you just came from tiktok to here what's good you know um on here i can talk about way more in-depth things than i do on tiktok as you can see um the sugaring stuff just goes into more depth on here you know i'm all things level up all things glam honey so yeah you have arrived um so i actually just wanted to you know catch my subbies here say i miss you guys i miss posting my videos every day we're going to get back on that flow very very soon something big is coming up and has been taking up so much of my time girl i've been stressed i'm not even gonna pretend like i haven't been stressed and it's not really like stress it's more like anxious i've been super super anxious like it's just whew, a lot okay but everything is coming together time is coming soon um i'm flying to miami for my man's birthday next friday so i'm super excited or next saturday so i'm super excited we celebrate his birthday in miami so um we've been getting ready for that so we're gonna have a lot of vlog time coming up um so y'all will see that soon um, but for this first video tonight, we're going to talk about 10 ways to smell and taste good for your man. <laughs> you know, some of these things might be obvious to you guys, but a lot of these things y'all won't know about. So if you want to spice it up in your relationship and you need some tips, keep watching this video. First of all, we're going to keep it real simple with the first thing. This one should be um, obvious or I'm sure your mom or a grandmother has told you this before. But stop sleeping and lounging in underwear. When you're chilling at home, like, let give her some air. She needs some breathing room, okay? Um, when that prevents sweat, it takes off the pressure from it being closed in all day. And it just gives you just a breather and keeps it fresh fresher than it would be if it was locked in some underwear all day so um when you're sleeping of course i don't recommend them at all i recommend nightgowns so you can get a good breeze up there um you just kind of want to leave the space open and when you're lounging at home you know why wear them so um i'm, I'm like weird about that like if i'm at home I'm definitely chilling like i'm not a bra wearing girl either so like i'm just you know free under my nightgown you know but yeah, so that's number one, stop sleeping and lounging in underwear. Number two, um, you want to use naturally made body butters um, and you also want to use a shower lotion while you're showering because it makes your skin 10 times softer and you don't have to do as much when you get out the shower. So one I put in the self care video on a budget is the Nivea um, shower lotion. It's in a white bottle. Oh my God, I swear to God, it's like the softest, creamiest lotion I have ever used, both wet and or dry, you know, um, from out of the shower. So you wanna like, make sure you are moisturizing and keeping your skin nice and, you know, silky girl. Like, you don't want rough skin. Ain't nothing worse than somebody with rough skin. That's so unfeminine, so masculine. And I don't even wanna say masculine because I love a man with soft hands. So. It's just disgusting. So just put some put some moisturizer on your hands, okay, girl? Uh, and lotion up your body, okay? Keep it keep it nice and creamy, okay? Um, another thing I was saying, use naturally made body butters. Like my sister makes um, body butters and little creams and stuff like that, and I love using that stuff when I'm fresh out the shower. It keeps me super smooth, and I honestly feel like I like sleep better as well. So like I just love using like body butters and sugar scrubs, different stuff like that. So that's number two. Number three, a Yanni oil. Okay, so a lot of y'all don't know what Yanni oils are. Um, let me grab mine. Okay, so um, this is what it looks like. It's just like an oil. Um, I was sampling this for a girl 
and it's like a very thin oil as you can see it's not a super oily oil but it's great for it smells so freaking good jesus but um after a wax or a shave you want to use this oil because it um fights against ingrown hairs keeps you nice and soft and fluffy down there um smooth <laughs> you know <laughs> you know <laughs> so um I always recommend using a Yanni oil after a scrub or after, after a scrub, after a shave or a wax, um, period. Yeah, like just period. Um, so um, number four, you want to use Dove Dry Spray on your inner thighs to keep it fresh all day. My favorite one is the one with the pink lid. I think it's like powder fresh or something. Um, they sell it in the stick mode. My chair, y'all know I hate when my chair go look like that. Okay. Ugh. I'm getting this cute, fluffy pink, like, sofa chair. Just trying to find, like, the right place to get it from because the one I had found was for children and that's not what I want. Um, because this one is just retired. Um, but yeah, so, the pink Powder Fresh Dove Spray. You wanna spray it. You can come in. I can start over. Okay. Sorry, my brother came in. So, um, yeah, so we want to use the Baby Powder Fresh Dove Spray, not the deodorant because it might leave a little white residue. When you spray, you hold the spray a good three to five inches away from your skin and you spray right on the inner thigh area so that when your thighs rub together, if you live in Florida, baby, you know it's hot. Mm. And we don't want no scents, baby. So, you know, you want to make sure you give yourself a nice little spritz. So when your thighs rubbing together, you constantly, you know, smelling fresh all day. So that's number four. Number five. This one's a really good one, okay? You want to wear cotton underwear and you want to wear a panty liner inside the cotton underwear. This is especially for really hot days, you know? Um, like, everyone knows it is a such thing as healthy discharge and like, you know, we all have days where you know, we might sweat a little more and you don't really want that sweat to be in the seat of your underwear. You know what I mean? So you want to have the panty liner inside, you know, to protect your layer so that if you do or were to like slide off somewhere afterwards, you know, you already have like a, <clears throat> damn, a safeguard between your panties and your, you know, private area. Um, and then the cotton underwear. Cotton underwear is just honestly the healthiest for the private areas. When you wear all those other um, types of underwear, they can cause yeast infections, they can be discomforting, and they can cause you to sweat more. So, um, avoid that. You know, it's nothing wrong with putting on that sexy pair of underwear for your mans right before, you know, that action or whatever. But, you know, all throughout like a day-to-day -day thing, you want to wear cotton underwear more than you wear any other type. Um... So yeah, and cotton is breathable, if you guys didn't know that. Which obviously makes sense with what I just said. But number six, um, you don't wanna forget the forgotten areas. So this one specifically for like girls, I, I say, is um, the belly button. Like a lot of y'all forget to clean your belly button. You gotta get in there, girl, okay? Um, you can honestly use alcohol um, on a Q-tip, get in there, do a little spinny spin. Keep it nice and fresh and clean, you know? Um, you'll be surprised if you haven't cleaned your belly button what it'll look like, so <laughs> bear with the bit, okay? Um, number seven. This one kind of goes back in with number um, two, but it's like a step up from number two. You want to use like shimmer body creams. Um, like Fenty, oh my God, Fenty is so nice when you get out the shower, nice, silky, glitz. You know, my vibe, I, I love, I love Rihanna. She could really sell air and I would buy it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but I've seen a lot of black owned brands, like there's another one named Beatbox, they had a spray. It was bomb, spray it all, all over you, it's bomb, you use it as a face setting spray, you use it as a body setting spray, whatever. Um, but it's super feminine when you smell super good and then you have that nice shimmer on like it just makes a man want you even more so like why not you know um so i definitely recommend get you a good shimmer body cream sis okay and you can even look up like shimmer body cream dupes 
and you may be able to find more. I don't actually have a dupe for you for that, but if you would like one, I can find one. Let me know. Um, one thing every woman should always keep in their bag, and this is something special. It's gonna be inside this bag that I'm dropping soon. Um, but it is a baby wipe and an extra pair of panties. So, you keep that baby wipe because, you know, if you need to change to that extra pair of panties, you need to be able to do a smooth, you know, front to back, and then put on those cute little panties and go handle your business. You feel me? Like, that's worst case scenario. You want to have that prepared, okay? You want to have it with you, ready to go, okay? Um, so, I don't feel like we need to talk about that anymore. I feel like y'all kind of get the drift. It's like a gnat flying, and it's pissing me off, so, okay. Um, number nine, you want to get waxed, but... If you have to shave, I'll be reading it straight off the paper, y'all. But you want to get waxed, but if you have to shave, use a male razor because it gives a smoother, flatter finish. And you want to use a sugar scrub and an oil after you shave, okay? So, obviously, I recommend using the oil after you get a wax, but you definitely want to use a good sugar scrub for private areas, of course, um, and oil after you shave because when you shave, it, it's obviously a little bit more rough on your skin than waxing is, you know? So you want to be sure um, that you keep that area nice, soft, fluffy, and comforting, okay? Um, and I always recommend getting wax. If you haven't gotten the wax before, girl, it's time. I'm talking to you. Use this. <coughs> Fuck. Listen, let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all, okay? What TikTok made me do and why I'm choking and, like, my eye is burning and all kind of shit right now, okay? So I had a... Um, jalapeno pepper with cream cheese and a taki stuck inside so it's a trend that's been going on on tiktok and people's like it tastes so good so i literally felt compelled to go to Publix and buy the ingredients and eat it and it wasn't bad but it wasn't like how people made it seem like it was the best thing in the whole world but now i'm choking because i've been eating spicy shit for the past 45 minutes and yeah so, I can't even get my words out. But I was trying to say, it's time for you to go get a wax, sis. And I'm talking to you. Okay? It's time. Get a wax. You're going to love it. It hurts. Yes, it hurts. I'm not even going to sit here and tell y'all it don't hurt. My first one hurts. And my lady has years of experience in my hurt. But, it's worth it. It's worth it. For what you're going to get, it's worth it. For how your man going to feel, it's worth it. Okay, but I only do that for a man who deserve it, girl. Don't be getting no wax for no man who don't deserve it, period. Because that shit hurt. <laughs> okay. Um, Number nine. <clears throat> and this is going to be hard for a lot of y'all. You want to start avoiding meat. Specifically red meat. Um, You want to try and be on a heavy fruit and veggie diet. So, y'all know. That's why my fucking skin is flawless right now. Because I don't eat meat. And I drink a lot of water. Which is number 10. Even though it's something simple. We'll, we'll talk about that. Um, But you want to avoid meat. Meat makes you so puffy and bloated. If you think you naturally bloated. You just don't even understand the difference. If you would cut meat out of your life. So, even on my periods, I'm nowhere near as bloated as I used to be. I'm um, like, on my periods, I used to gain, like, maybe two pounds and then would lose the two pounds by the time my period was off. That doesn't happen to me anymore. Um, so, you want to avoid meat. Like, if you could cut meat out your diet totally, then I say try it. At least try it for two weeks. But, you know, that's my personal recommendation. Um, and then lastly, um, water, water, water. A lot of y'all are dehydrated, which is causing other things in your body to not flow correctly, okay? So, the more you drink water, the more you hydrate your body naturally, the more your body will work in your favor. So, you need to drink more water, okay? Drink more water, girl. When you go to the restaurant, you can order a sweet tea or you can order a Sprite. Order a water with lemon instead, okay? I promise you, it'll make a drastic difference in the way you smell, the way you taste everything and um fruits i know y'all know how they say diced pineapples make my baby taste the best okay really it's all fruit you know um the more fruit you eat the healthier your body will be the better you'll taste you are what you eat sweetie okay so yeah that just about wraps up the 10 female tips i have for smelling and tasting good for your man if you have any questions comments concerns leave them down below um and 
once again if you're here from tiktok welcome to the family make sure you subscribe um leave me a you know thumbs up below the video and i'll see y'all in the next one